Right. Right. I would. I just told you. I'm gonna prove to y'all that y'all living in foreign companies. This video, he starts it off incorrect. He's gonna say colonies are places. So somebody help me out. When do places travel? Can I take America to England? So we know colonies ain't places, but I'm just showing you how ignorant people are. And this is why the police are killing you. And that's why foreigners, you owe foreigners 25 trillion and they don't owe you nothing. And they over here killing your mothers, your sisters, your brothers. Listen, he's gonna say colonies are places. Colonies are not places. Colonies are companies that belong to the king. And I told y'all the name of the book is called The King's Two Bodies. And it will explain to you what states are, cities are, and why the king created them. A colony is a place that's settled by a group of people outside their home country and belongs to or is ruled by that home country. By the men Right. So look, he's telling you colonies are owned by that other country so if colonies turned into states states are owned by england you're living in states you are owned by england you are not american i'm gonna re i'm gonna rewind it these are facts a colony is a place that's settled by a group of people outside their home country and belongs to or is ruled by that home country by the mid 17th all right i also want to pause it to debunk colonies are places is a colony of ants places no when the u.s faked these moon shuttle landings and they put colonies on the moon are those places no they're not places a colony is not a place a colony is simply a group so if a states are a group tell me black people how are you being born in a group of people and how are you pro-black if those people ain't black and you pretending to live in them somebody help me fake pro-blacks that's why i don't mess with none of them hundreds england had set up 13 colonies along the east coast of america these All right let's pause who notices he didn't say the east coast of the united states the reason he didn't say the east coast of the United States because America had no states. The colony turns to states. So before the colonies came here, we called it America. Now, 200, 300, 400 years later, you ask an American what a state is, they don't know, but they loyal you to the states. They pay taxes to it. They let it kill their kids and they say it's corrupt and march, all this dumb stuff. But let's continue because I just proved to y'all that states are not places because if they were places christopher columbus he would have discovered the united states he didn't he discovered america and here go the colonies bringing the united states to america and you're pretending to live in what an english colony don't be surprised why you don't have american rights at home country by the mid 1700s england had set up 13 colonies along the east coast of america these colonies all had some things in common, but they can be divided into three groups that each had a certain way of life. Now, let's start in the Northeast. Yeah. Look, Look, and you'll see the New England colonies, hey. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maine, New Hampshire. And think about it, y'all. If states was American places, why would they have foreign names? New York. York is in England. Hampshire. That's in England. You understand? That's why y'all ignorant, because y'all foreigners and y'all swear y'all Americans. How y'all going to be Americans? You can't even tell your kid what a state is. In Massachusetts, people came mainly from England for religious freedom what? to practice their religion the way they need them. Uh -huh. But to raise a family and try to feed them can prove to be difficult and for a few reasons. The soil was rocky, the climate cold, uh -huh. they could barely grow. Right, we don't need this. Y'all know that when the colonies got here, there were no states. Let me see if I can find a video how states turn in, how colonies turn into states. Because I think it's amazing that a place could come from England, then come to America and multiply, and now you living in them and they killing you and you screaming out, America. The U.S. ain't America, you traitors. All right. And in this video, he at the beginning of the video, he's going to tell you, because country means company. Think about it. If a country was placed... You don't create places with paper. America was not created with paper. The United States was created with paper. So listen to what he's going to say. And again, I'm a black man. This shows you that black people are racist themselves. Since I'm a black man explaining to black people what a state is, they not going to believe me to a white man tell them. Don't you notice ain't no white men telling them states are foreign companies? So they're going to die 
waiting for a white man to tell them what they living in when they got a black man showing them. You, think, you see why I don't talk to these people? You see why I really don't even get involved with their struggles? Because they're struggling out of ignorance, and I'm not ignorant. A grown man, he's going to know what he's living in. He's going to know what he's calling government, and he's going to know what he's going to what he's gonna allow to be done to him, his family, and people he care about. These people living in states, they can't do nothing for you. The state already killing people by kneeing on their neck. What's going to stop? the state from doing that to the next U.S. citizen. Nothing. They don't even know what America is. So they never gonna stop a cop. But when you know the state is a foreign company, you ain't gonna have no problem stopping a cop from killing an American. You supposed to as an American. But y'all not Americans. Y'all U.S. citizens and don't even know what the S is. The Declaration of Independence proclaimed a new country. The United States of America. There it goes. So the Declaration of Independence created what black people living in in 2020. Or do you see any black people here? So y'all living in something that white people created with a piece of paper. You can't live in paper, y'all. This is why they're killing y'all. And this is why they're going to continue to kill y'all. And after it's all said and done, they're going to toast their glasses to see how ignorant y'all was. Look, for 400 years, we tricked them to live in our companies and we finally got rid of all of them. They got Ebola out here. They got National Guard out here. And y'all still don't care? I don't care either. These are your children, not mine. Okay. Think about what that name really means. It means the Declaration of Independence proclaimed a new country, the United States of America. Think about what that name really means. Let me pause it. Did he say the United States is America or the United States of America? States are colonies, the United Colonies of America. Black people are living in England colonies on America, talking about they African and wondering why they don't have no American rights. And every time they go on TV, they tell y'all America's racist. You know why? Because they need you to hate America. Because once you love your state and your city to the point where you'll let them beat your ass and turn around and blame it on America, you are a full traitor. You can't bring up no American rights. You hate the America because you so cowardly, you'll never say the United States is racist and as Americans, we got a right for them not to be here. So of course they're going to kill you because if it was my company and it was people that belonged here and, and forgot or got miseducated to think they didn't belong here, I would get rid of them too. So let's rewind it one more time. Proof that country means company because you can't create places with paper you only could create companies with it and this is how people were stupid we were here before paper if you pretending to live in something created on paper you ignorant because we was here before paper what did people live in or live on before paper common sense stuff but again young pharaoh all these fake pro blacks they're not going to teach black people that because they want you under the white man they've been teaching you the white man is over you all these years so of course they're not going to teach you that the white man is only over you because you pretending to live in this foreign company because that'll make their white supremacy go away ain't no white people supreme over me period and if this get flagged i got my sight the declaration of independence proclaimed a new country the United States of America. Think about what that name really means. It means that 13 separate and independent states joined together, united to make one country. Let's pause. I thought it was 13 colonies. Look at the title. So you see how he lies even with his title? He's lying. It's supposed to be 13 colonies. You understand? Look, you got the 13 right there, 13 colonies. So he starts it off with 13 states. You see how deceptive this is? But again, I'm not the complexion for correction. Black Pro-blacks are waiting for a guy like this to tell them what a state of city is so they could go spread it. They're never going to tell you. Because that's the only thing keeping them above you, the state. Think about what that name really means. It means that 13 separate and independent states joined together, united to make one country. So let's okay. pause it. He just said states were separate. If states was American places, how could they be separate? Common sense stuff. This is why I don't mess with pro-blacks. This is why I don't mess with U.S. citizens. This is why I don't care about what state people pretending to live in. Because all I know is when the state come up and body slam your grandmother, you ain't going to do nothing but cry. We just watched a man die with a knee on his neck and nobody stopped the cops because they don't even know what the state of Minneapolis, I mean the state of Minnesota is. You don't think that's dangerous? You don't think that's treason? It is treason. You just watch an American die from a foreign knee on his neck and you did nothing. You think I want to be around you people? 
Okay, so what were the original states that declared independence and united? Well, starting at the top, they were Massachusetts, which was first settled by the Pilgrims in 1620. As you can see, at that time, Massachusetts included the present state of Maine. We'll talk more about that later. The next three states, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Connecticut, began as offshoots of Massachusetts. They were all first settled in the 1630s. New York was founded as the Dutch colony of New Netherlands. It became British in 1664 when the Duke of York drove out the Dutch. So let me pause it. It's showing you the origins of the foreign companies you're living in. Stop thinking you're American. Young Pharaoh ain't American. He never will be American. Sarnetta ain't American. He'll never be American. Seti, he's not American. None of them are American because they're colonists. Colonies are England owned, Britain owned. And now that we're here, let me ask you, since y'all so fake, and this is why we planted the fakes, because y'all all fakes, and we know y'all fakes. Y'all don't, don't care if y'all don't admit it. We know y'all fakes. So look, these are the only 13 states that was established at that time, right? Let me ask you something. What's this? What's this? What's this? Because you know why you need to answer that? Because all of this still exists. You don't got to acknowledge their company. It's none of your business. But since you let your mothers trick you into being citizens and to bow down to these foreigners and they killing you now and all your mother could do is come on the news with an ugly face and cry, you're going to keep pretending. Keep pretending. Any black people or black men that follow these women into your doom after they already killed 10 million or 20 million of us with abortions, jail, and all that other stuff, you deserve what you get. You should be teaching these women what states are, and you should be building so they won't have to rely on the state. But they're not going to build because they don't want to stay with one woman. They don't want to stay with their baby mothers. But guess what, women? Y'all silly for having babies with men that don't know what states are. Because now that you got a, a baby with a man that don't know what a state is, he could easily leave you and say, hey, let the state raise the baby. So women, y'all just as ignorant for having babies with dudes that don't know what states are, just like dudes is ignorant for having babies with women that don't know what states are. And then you end up in jail because of child support and don't know how. You a colonist. You're not American. And y'all not building shit. Y'all sit up here and suck these celebrities that tell you they from Louisiana and New York City and all that dumb shit. Meanwhile, they got enough money to build on private land and bring you back to America. But they not. They too busy wanting to be lap dogs for these foreigners. I'm going to let them. I don't care. It's your babies, not mine. New Jersey was established the same year, 1664, by friends of the Duke. All right, if New Jersey was established, meaning it's an establishment in 1664, where did people live in 1663? Did that place disappear? No, America's still here. But y'all can't claim it because you're too busy sucking New Jersey. Of York. Pennsylvania means Penn's Woods. King Charles II gave the land to William Penn in 1671 to repay a debt to his family. Delaware was first... Let me pause it. The last video I showed y'all, it said colonies are basically foreigners that are still owned by their home country. And that's why they're bringing up the Dutch and the British, because all these companies are still owned by them. This is why you don't have American rights. You're a product. Living in a fake place, you let foreigners set up on your land. Settled by Sweden, then captured by the Dutch, then taken over by the Duke of York, and finally given to William Penn as part of Pennsylvania. In 1703, Penn allowed the three most southern counties to establish their own assembly. In 1776, it became the state of Delaware. Well, Maryland... If in 1776 it became the state of Delaware, where did people live in 1775? I know you ain't gonna answer this because you a traitor. So don't think people feel sorry for you when they see your blood spilling, all right? It was founded in 1632 by Lord Baltimore as a haven for Roman Catholics who were being persecuted in England. Next is Virginia. This is where the first permanent English settlement was established in 1607 at Jamestown. On the maps of the original US, Virginia didn't look like this. It was much bigger. That's because it included the present state of West Virginia. More about that later. South Carolina and North Carolina were originally one colony. That was in 1663. They separated in 1729. And Let me ask you something. If, North, if Carolina was a place, did they split the land? Come on, somebody help me. 
Somebody help me. If Carolina is a place, did they split the land? No, it was a big company. They split the company. So all you black people that have killed somebody because they say something bad about Carolina, you don't even own that foreign company. That's why y'all ignorant as fuck. Because y'all sitting here claiming shit you can't even define and that you got no ownership in. You gave up being American to be foreign colonists. And then you wondering why the police beating your ass and then got the nerve to turn around and say it's America. F you all your celebrities, your state education, your TV, F all of that. This is why y'all going in FEMA camps for trying to betray America. Colonies ain't America, dog. Y'all retarded. Colonies are states. States ain't America. U.S. of A, not U.S. is A. Traitors. Biggest traitors of all times. Georgia was founded in 1732 as a refuge for debtors. The first 13 United States of America. Do you know what the 14th is? Right. The first 13 United States, and he said state, not states, state. The first 13 United States of America. Do you know what the 14th is? It's Vermont, the Green Mountain State. Vermont became the country's 14th state in 1791 after a long... States are now growing. Uh, did the land grow? And this is how you know people are ignorant. And they're waiting for a white person to teach them what I'm teaching them. That's why you're dying. I've been teaching this for years now. How many people you done seen die and couldn't even tell you what a state is? What'd that tell you? How many people died by the state and they can't even tell you what a state is? The state just brought corona in here, killed off, what, 100,000 people? None of them could tell you what a state is. You don't think that's ignorant? You don't think that's ignorant? It is ignorant. And wait till they bring the worst disease here. Wait till they bring the airborne disease here. Because they got to get rid of y'all because y'all don't have nowhere to go. Y'all not Americans and the United States company is bankrupt and they're getting rid of it. So they got to get rid of all of his staff and all of his property. That's you and your kids. Dispute between Massachusetts, New York, and New Hampshire over who owned what land. When all three gave up their claims, Vermont entered the Union. Now, let me finish the stories that I mentioned before. Maine, as I said, was originally a part... I want to pause it because they just said a union. Now, when you hear the word union, what does it remind you of? The European Union, where they made every country a state. Now they're the United States of Europe. Now, don't you know they got rid of that European Union shit? Or they're getting rid of it? Because the people don't want to be under a corporate rule. That's communism. Unlike the U.S. citizen who's under a corporate rule, the United States Corporation, that's communism. But they tell you it's capitalism. How is it capitalism when everything you own is registered to a state? And when somebody asks you what a state is, you can't even tell them. You don't think that's ignorant? You got a Lamborghini registered to the state. I ask you what a state is, you can't tell me. You don't think that's ignorant? That's fucking ignorant. Of Massachusetts, it became an independent state in 1820. But it was- right. If it became an independent state in 1820, where did people live before then? And I'm asking young Farrell, since he's so smart, could tell us about aliens, Illuminati, Bilderberg. I'm asking him, where did people live before then, young Farrell? It wasn't until 1842 that the state's present-day northern boundary was established. It's really an interesting story. Here's a short version. And that's it. I'm not showing y'all no more. And this is how they know y'all kids. Because that's the whole thing. <laughs>